This tutorial will demonstrate how to add Mixamo animation to make human characters, while retaining the face bones so facial animation can be added. If you've already installed Blender and the add-ons MPFB2 and AMH2B, then skip ahead to the 3 minute and 10 second mark. Blender is the free and open source 3D creation suite. It supports the entirety of the 3D pipeline, modeling, rigging, animation, simulation, rendering, compositing and motion tracking, even video editing and game creation. The Make Human project strives to provide a complete tool that allows for the management of all things needed to create realistic virtual humans. It has a Blender add-in called MPFB2 that integrates Make Human functionality directly into Blender. Go to static.makehumancommunity.org, then go to the MPFB section. Then MPFB downloads. Click on the plugins link to get to the add-in file. Choose the Blender for release. Now go back to the MPFB download section. We need the basic assets to make MPFB work, so go to Asset Packs. We need Make Human System Assets. Click the link to the zip file. If your download doesn't start, then copy the link to the zip file, start a new tab, and paste the link to download the zip file. Next is the add-in Automate Make Human to Blender. This add-in will provide extra functionality that we need to add facial animation to our virtual humans. Go to the latest release and download the add-in zip file. With Blender open we will install the add-ons. Go to Edit Preferences. Now the Add-ons section. Click the Install button and choose the MPFB2 add-in zip file. Enable the add-in. Click Install again. Choose the AMH2B add-in zip file. Enable the add-in and close the Preferences window. We need to load the MPFB2 asset pack. Open Tools and go to the MPFB2 tab. Click Apply Assets, Library Settings. Load Pack from Zip File. Choose the Asset Pack file. Let's pan and zoom to get ready for making a virtual human. Press A to select all the objects in the scene, and press X to delete them. We will begin from scratch. Now we need to add a rig, so that we can add other assets including clothes. If you plan to change the size of any body parts, like making the arms longer, then be sure to do that before adding a rig and other assets. Sometimes the rig and other assets will not adjust correctly when body part sizes are changed later. Now we need a copy of the character but with a Mixamo type rig. To do this we need to save the character to a preset. The save preset option will not appear until we select the rig. Now save the preset. To keep things organized, name this collection MPFB2. Then create a new collection for the character with a Mixamo rig. Hide the previous collection and recreate the character from preset, with rig set to Mixamo.
At this point we could create a simplified version of the character for upload to Mixamo with the Mixamo reduce doll function, but this will remove the clothes. So to keep this YouTube friendly, we'll do it another way. Select the skin mesh and go to the data tab. In the shape keys drop down, use apply all shape keys. In the modifiers tab, we will apply all the mask modifiers, these are the modifiers that delete geometry. Select the clothes mesh first and the skin mesh second, then press F3, type in join, and join the two meshes. Select the rig and use the Mixamo reduce doll function. Choose a name for the output FBX file. Now we can delete the mesh and rig that was created by the Mixamo reduce doll function. Also delete the mesh from the second copy of the character but keep the rig. We need to select both rigs, so unhide the MPFB2 collection. Select the Mixamo rig first, and the MPFB2 rig second, then go to the AMH2B tab. Go to the Armature Function group, Retarget. Click Retarget and change preset to Mixamo to MPFB2 default FK. Click OK. This will create a transfer rig that can be used to transfer animation from a Mixamo rig to an MPFB2 default FK rig. We can now delete the Mixamo rig. We have everything needed in this file for transferring animations from a Mixamo rig, which does not have face bones, to an MPFB2 rig, which has face bones. Let's save the file for later, in case we want to transfer multiple Mixamo animations to this character's MPFB2 rig. Mixamo's technologies use machine learning methods to automate the steps of the character animation process, including 3D modeling to rigging, and 3D animation. We can upload our Make Human models to the website, and download animated versions. First upload the FBX file created by MPFB2's Mixamo reduce doll function. That looks okay, let's continue. We will use two female walk animations. First the walking loop. Download without skin, which means without mesh, and we are using 24 frames per second. Next is the stop walking animation. Enable the mirror animation option to switch left with right, because the stop walking animation will not synchronize with the walking loop unless we enable mirror. Back to Blender and create a new collection for the Mixamo animated rig. Hide the other collections temporarily and import the FBX file from the Mixamo website. The walking loop animation is 39 frames long, this number will be needed later. Unhide the collection with the Mixamo to MPFB2 transfer rig. Shift select the transfer rig, so both rigs are selected and the transfer rig is the active object. Use the snap transfer target function to copy the movements of the Mixamo rig to the transfer rig. Make only the MPFB2 collection visible. With the MPFB2 rig selected, switch to pose mode. Use the select retarget bones function to select only the bones that are being animated by the transfer rig. Press F3 and type collection, then use the move to bone collection function. We will create a new bone collection for the these bones, so they can be quickly selected later. In the pose menu, which is only available in pose mode, choose bake action. Set the end frame to 29, the length of the walking loop animation. Ensure only selected bones, visual keying, and clear constraints are enabled and press OK. The Mixamo animation is now transferred to the MPFB2 rig. 
the animation didn't transfer perfectly, the thumbs look wrong. This can be fixed, and the fix baked into the MPFB2 rig animation. Switch to Dope Sheet. Then Action Editor. Rename the action to Walk 1 and Push Down. Correct the thumb position, and insert a keyframe for rotation. Do the same for the other thumb. Go to the Data tab and select only the retarget bones. Then the Pose menu and Bake Action. Ensure selected bones and visual keying are enabled. A new action is created with the fixed walk cycle. Name the fixed action and push down. Go to nonlinear animation so we can make the walking animation loop multiple times. Delete the extra action strips, keeping only the fixed walk animation. Also change back to object mode. Under action clip change repeat to 3. The walk animation is looping, but the character returns to the same starting point at the beginning of each loop. This can be fixed easily with an AMH2B function. First, find a bone that is not moving between loops of the animation. The foot bone on the right foot remains motionless, so select it. In the AMH2B Tools tab, switch to Animation Object and click Ratchet Point. This creates an empty object parented to the right foot bone. Go to the last frame of the walk animation and switch back to Object Mode. Set the ratchet point to the empty object and use ratchet hold. The rig is now keyframed to move so animation appears smooth between loops of the walk animation. We can repeat this process for the next loop of the walk animation. The next step will be to add the stop walking animation at the end of the last walk loop. First save the current file. Next load the file with the character and the transfer rig that was saved earlier. Create a collection for the Mixamo animation. Then import the FBX file with the stop walking animation. Show the transfer rig collection, and select the transfer rig. Use the snap transfer target function. Show only the MPFB2 collection. Show the Mixamo animated rig again to get the number of frames of animation. 38 frames. Select the MPFB2 rig, go to Pose Mode, and select Retarget Bones. Bake the stop walking action again like we did earlier with the walking animation, making sure that visual keying and remove constraints are enabled. Create a new bone collection for the animation transfer bones. The thumbs need to be fixed again.
push down the original action, fix the thumb rotations and add keyframes. Select the retarget bones. Then bake the fixed action. Rename the action to make it easy to find later, and save the file with the stop walking animation. Open the file with the looping walking animation again. Append from the stop walking animation file, under actions, the fixed stop walking action. In nonlinear animation, add action strip, the fixed stop walking animation. Bring the action down to the track with the walking animation. Select the MPFB2 rig, find the end frame of the last walking loop, and use ratchet hold. Let's see the full animation with three walking loops and the stop walking animation at the end. This completes the tutorial on adding Mixamo animations to MPFB2 rigs with face bones intact.